CTV's Rachel Aiello is in Ottawa with more on this, and it's kind of like Groundhog Day. You and I were here yesterday with a housing announcement. Now we've got another one, this one in Winnipeg. This one is about rental protections. What do people need to know? What's the takeaway here, Rachel? Good afternoon, Todd. Yes, so this is a $1.5 million, billion dollar fund. A, mil, a billion of this, Todd, is going to go towards um, community housing organizations, nonprofits, uh, and another $470 million is going to be actual money spent instead of just loans. The government is trying to focus this money on situations where low income or more affordable housing apartment buildings go up for sale are bought up, renovated, and then put back on the market with higher rent prices than those tenants who are currently living there could afford, essentially pricing them out of the affordable homes that they have been living in. So the government with this fund is pledging to try to counter that by providing this money to these organizations so that when these big complexes do go on the market, they have the funds to buy them up and keep that rent under control. They're calling this rental protection to try to stabilize the prices and not face that upcharge you'd see if a new owner came in and changed things around. Mm. Uh, the Trudeau government, Rachel, has now earmarked billions and billions of dollars in new spending. Is, is there a plan, you know, to, who's going to pay for all this? Are they planning to raise taxes? Where's the money coming from? That is a fantastic question, Todd, and we put this right to the Prime Minister today. Uh, we are now at $25 billion that the government has announced so far, and we do know there is about a week or so more of announcements to come. So if you flash back to the last fall economic statement, you'll remember Freeland said uh, she wanted to remain fiscally prudent and keep that debt-to-deficit uh, GDP ratio down. So the Prime Minister was asked today, following up on a question, uh, Jenna Suds was asked on Power Play yesterday, Will there be new taxes? What kind of revenue streams is the government looking to kind of offset and balance these billions of dollars? And the prime minister was more clear today than his minister was yesterday in saying there will be no new taxes on the middle class. Now, that kind of leaves some room open, Todd, for them to find other revenue streams. A potential wealth tax is one of the things being bandied about. Uh, but certainly there is this open question right now of how the government is going to fund this, given the current context, not wanting to drive up inflation. Uh, and so far, beyond saying stay tuned for the budget and committing to there not being more taxes on the middle class, the government hasn't quite answered that question. I'm also curious about the public relations campaign that's going on here because uh, obviously they could wait until the budget comes out with these announcements, but they're trickling it out. There's clearly a strategy here to get people talking about it and to get the news media like us covering it. It's absolutely deliberate. What would usually be a few days of coverage, we'd have maybe a couple of leaks the few days before and then a few days after, sifting through all the stuff we missed on budget day. But this is now essentially like a two-week event. Uh, the key thing, I think, for our audience to keep in mind is what the government is doing is rolling out specific bits of the budget with minimal details. And then we're asking for follow-ups. Like today, we were saying, you know, you've put a lot of loans on the table, a lot of money that you are expecting to get back. What is the deadline on these loans? What is the term? What is the interest rate? And all of that, all of those little things that would kind of further shape out what these promises are, uh, we're being told, wait for budget day. So while yes, uh, Canadians are going to know a vast majority of what is in Freeland's federal budget uh, ahead of that April 16th tabling, there is going to be an onus for us to go through, check back on all these promises, read the fine print. And then, of course, I think the big number we'll all be waiting to see is what the current deficit is. Rachel Aiello in Ottawa. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks, Todd.